Now, the Public Interest and Accountability Committee, PIAC, is calling for a resurrection, uh, forgive me, a restructuring of how oil revenues are expended. Uh, PIAC warns that Ghana risks ending up like other countries that depleted oil reserves without creating sustainable sources of wealth if the current expenditure structure is not reviewed. Uh, Joy News' Joseph Akabli is with our energy desk and has been finding out why oil revenue is not helping the country meet its development aspirations as expected. How does Ghana avoid the resource curse? Well, we do that by respecting contracts. We do that by putting in place good frameworks uh, for the exploitation of the resource. And uh, on the state side, um, how we, the state manages the revenues and resources uh, to the benefit of the people generally. Uh, we also would do that by seeking to add value to the fines. You know. A hopeful President Kufo explaining how Ghana intends not to end up like Venezuela, Angola and other countries that experience less economic growth despite availability of diamonds and oil. The resource cares. Commercial exploration commenced with less than 10 million barrels of oil and has since risen to more than 60 million barrels annually. Data analyzed by the Natural Resource Governance Institute shows that government holding shares in oil companies remain the largest contributor of petroleum revenue, raking some $2.9 billion over a seven-year period. Parliament recently, under controversial circumstances, approved a revised petroleum agreement that saw Ghana's stake in some oil blocks reduced from 43% to 18%. PIAC technical manager Mark Ajiman tells Joy News this is a bad move. If you want more, you buy more equity stake. So if you reduce your equity stake, you, will, you earn less. We all saw that from 2011 to 2018, the equity stake alone has given us about 3 billion out of the 5 billion. Uh, dollar petroleum revenue we've received more than half you understand so to me i think the government should invest more and acquire more equity share in each um, petroleum agreement petroleum analysts have argued the only way for countries to avoid the resource case is to have higher stake in exploration and invest in sustainable projects ghana under the current petroleum revenue management law allocates not more than 70 percent of the revenue to support the budget Mr. Ajiman tells Joy News this has not been expended on major sustainable projects. The way the ABFA in particular has been utilized um, to spearhead economic um, development, it has not quite gone as one would have expected because of the way the ABFA has been thinly spread across several projects where you can even find 20,000, 15,000 Ghana cities being allocated to a project. Um, the kind of petroleum... Um, economic development that we expect as a country and the way we are actually uh, utilizing our ABFA uh, through the budget will not, will not get there anytime soon. Even if we continue along this path, things spreading, uh, the ABFA not targeting uh, monumental projects that we can call legacy projects, uh, and we continue to spread them across several projects, then the next, even the next 100 years, we will not see the change we, we thought the petroleum exploitation will have brought to our country. The Natural Resource Governance Institute is worried about this trend and has started holding series of training for journalists on how to track the use of oil revenue to ensure government embarks on the right projects.